know Mobile now. I mean, if they didn't, they do, they know Mobile now. Well, as we told you last night, a team of crews and tourism professionals, along with Mayor Sandy Stimson, are down in Miami at a global cruise industry event. Over the last two days, they've met with Carnival and two other big players, all expressing a lot of interest in the proven potential the port city has to offer. It's very good news as we currently have a six month vacancy to fill at the Alabama Cruise Terminal. It's safe to say Carnival Spirit left the port city on a very high note. This was an experiment with Carnival. I mean, if you look at what's offered at New Orleans and what's offered at Tampa, they don't offer the same class ship doing these itineraries. So we were able to show to Carnival. We're, we told Carnival, you give us a nice ship with exciting itineraries and we will fill it. And we've met our, our commitment to that. So Carnival was very pleased. The city of Mobile more than meeting their end of the bargain. In the six months, Carnival Spirit was here. The ship was never at less than 100% capacity, oftentimes at 120% based on more than one person per room. It's a big part of the story the team from Mobile is sharing with the cruise industry down in Miami this week, attending the annual Sea Trade Cruise Global event. Last night, they met with Carnival and today with Norwegian and Margaritaville at Sea Cruise Lines. City Executive Director of Transportation and Maritime, Joe Snowden, among those in the meetings. They've already done their research mm -hmm. and they've actually sailed out of Mobile. So the Margarita at sea, their, their executive staff knows Mobile. This is the first time where we've had heavy engagement. Very promising, very, very promising. Also attractive, the Alabama Cruise Terminal within walking distance to restaurants, hotels, and entertainment, all benefiting over the last six months. In that time, the city making $3 million from parking and wharfage fees. Hey! Another thing to be proud of, the Alabama Cruise Terminal consistently outperforming Carnival's entire fleet when it comes to customer service, something that goes a long way with the decision makers. So as they look at all the numbers of all the different ships that they have, we were ranked number one with the surveys that people selling out of Mobile, we had the best overall Southern hospitality. The, the scores showed that we were number one in the fleet. Snowden says what also makes Mobile attractive, plans for a new downtown airport, a new riverfront hotel, along with the recently announced world-class entertainment arena to replace the Civic Center, not to mention an upgraded gangway for boarding. It's all positive attention, hopefully driving future cruise momentum. We are getting noticed. I can tell you just from our engagement today, people are noticing that. else the team from Mobile is taking advantage of at Sea Trade. They're learning better business practices from experts on how to improve shore power to reduce diesel and carbon emissions. They're also uh, trying to promote excursions in the port city, learning from experts on how to attract those cruisers a uh, night or two before on the front and back end of those cruises. It is going to be something that we'll have to wait and see how it all pans out. But nonetheless, all of this sounds very promising for Mobile. It is. He also echoed that, echoed that same message that you said last night, there's more cruise ships yep. being, you know, put on the line. Of course, mm -hmm. more people wanting to cruise and we we have a cruise terminal that's open for six months. We need somebody to fill it. And we can have more than one ship, you know, yeah, why, why not? not? Year round. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Great job there, Lee. Thank